Hello and welcome to another adventure. Today I'm going to, well, I'm going to try and do a quick video on an alternative method for creating routes quickly for your Garmin Zoom OXT or any device for that matter. I mean, traditionally I've used, I've used this. So I'm on my desktop computer here. I'm on my nice big Mac and I've been using the OS map desktop tool to create my routes. It's really, really good. Um, I love the OS Map app. I think it's a brilliant app. It's awesome for navigating. You get amazing levels of, of detail on the mapping. And uh, I, did a, I did a bit of a ride into an exploratory ride into Cambridgeshire yesterday, check, checking out some new trails. And I literally would have been lost without the OS Map app because it is really good compared to the Zoom OXT. Uh, when you were looking for that detail of where you, exactly you need to go, um, you, you can't beat the OS map app. And this tool is pretty good as well for creating routes. So traditionally, this is what I've been doing. I've been coming into here and I've been creating a route. So routes, create route. Uh, I've got to give it a name. So let's call it Garmin 1. Um, and I have to click. So wherever I click, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to click, click. And this is what you have to do. You have to click, 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 click. Now, if I wanted to go from there to the end, of, down to the bottom of the hill here and to this T-junction, if I click here now, it will just draw a straight line between those two points because it doesn't have what's called a snap to feature. It, in the national parks, it does, but it doesn't for the vast majority of the roads in England and Wales and Scotland. So um, this is one of the downsides to this tool is that that snap to feature can make things really, really tricky to, um, well, it's not tricky, but just laborious to use. Um, but then you do have the detail on here that you don't get with lots of other mapping because here, look, I can clearly see this green lane here that comes down towards Wagger Farm. So I was out on my ride yesterday and I was, I'd asked a few people, what do you use to plan routes for your Garmin uh, Zumo XT? Because Garmin wants you to use this thing called Basecamp, and Basecamp, in a word, is arse. Um, this is the level of detail of mapping I get. If you've got some other devices, like such as a Montana, you can connect the Montana and then you get the mapping from the Montana, but it, I've just not managed to work it out how to do it with a Zumo, and I don't think it's going to be as good as what I'm going to show you anyway. So I've just, I used to use base camp a lot from my mountaineering days and when I was a mountain leader and the uh, e-tracks device that I used and um, I never got on with it I always thought it was a pain in the backside and then I was out on my ride yesterday and I just thought Michael you idiot why don't you just use Garmin Connect so Garmin Connect is the device that Garmin wants you to use to create routes and store your activities if you've got a Garmin fitness device. So I've got a Garmin cycling computer, I've got a Garmin Vivo Active 3 watch that I love and is really, really useful as a trail rider because I can use that and my wife can keep a track of where I am because it, it tracks me. Um, and so Garmin for those activity devices sends you to Garmin Connect. If you've got a Garmin Zumo or those sort of navigation devices, it sends you to Basecamp. Well, Basecamp is pants in my experience. I've never liked it. But today I just thought, why don't you just use Garmin Connect, you prat? Um, so Garmin Connect is free. So go online, get on your nice big computer and Google Garmin Connect. And if you haven't got an account, create an account. It's free. Uh, it's dead easy. You haven't even got to do any account verica verification or any of that. So you'll create an account. It's fairly obvious. And then eventually you get to a point where it will ask, ask you to check some boxes. I think I clicked the top two boxes because um, I created a secondary account just so I could talk you through it. And then eventually you will end up at this screen here. So this is sort of like the home page on, on Garmin Connect. So if you look over on the left here, you've got uh, training and planning and a drop down menu. So if I click there, 
then you've got courses. Click on courses and then down here in blue it says create course. I could import here, so if someone sent me a GPX, I could import it there, um, but I'm going to create a course. So I'm going to click on that, type a course. I always click gravel and unpaved cycling because effectively that is what green laning is and what you do, but I don't think it really matters which of those you check. And so now it's opened me up. Um, it's opened me up at a location where I sort of last started. It's remembered where I last was. So when you do this, you might find yourself in the middle of America somewhere. You've just got to zoom out and find your way to wherever you want to be uh, in the world because this will work anywhere. This will work in the UK. I tried it in France. It's exactly the same. I, try, I just tried um, modifying a bit of a tet route or looking online and using the tet and finding some lanes. And it worked just the same. So at the minute it's untitled. I can change that at any point. So we'll come back to that. So let's just start to create a route. So you can see here, look, it says click anywhere on the map to draw a new course. So let's start at the junction here. Now watch this. If I'm going to start going up, this is called Balls Hill here. It snaps too. It follows the alignment of the road. Now, so what happens if I go all the way through Kettlebaston to this T-junction earlier? I mean, just look at that. It snapped to and followed the alignment of that road perfectly. I mean, that's just flipping brilliant. I, when I just came in uh, after my ride in Cambridge, I just thought, you idiot, Michael, why didn't you do this before? Right, OK, so I want to go down this lane here. So let, to go back, you up here, look, you've got undo. So I'm just going to click undo. So let's, ah, oh, it's the scrolly wheel on this blimmin' Mac. It's a pain in the backside. Right, so that's got me to the top of this green lane. So at the minute, I've got this sort of pink line here showing me where the lane is, but there's nothing for going down this green lane here. So this is the TRF's green roadmap, and this is what I use to plan my new ride. So like the ride in Cambridgeshire, I was on here looking where the legal and safe to ride green lanes are. So this is the one I'm just about to go down here, down towards Wagger Farm. So what happens if I click here? I mean, look at this. It is following the alignment of this green lane. Right. It, so here, look, it now goes through this hedge here, this, um, this, this unclassified road. So if I click here through the hedge, right. So this is where sometimes the connect feature or connect tool falls down. It, it gets confused. So I'm going to undo, undo, get me back to there. So I want to, I've got to go through here. So what do I do? So I go over to the left and I click freehand. So now, like using the OS map feature, it will just put a waypoint wherever you click back to the main road there. Right. Okay. If you look over to the right here, you can see you've got two types of map. You've got a terrain map, um, which has not got a massive amount of detail on it, but for seeing the roads, it does make it quite easy. Or as we've been using, you've got the, the sort of um, satellite view. And actually, for the test runs I've been doing on this to make this video, this, um, this has been you know fairly useful. Uh, you can click up here and go to OpenStreetMap, but there's not that much more detail on there. So I've just been sticking with the Google Maps. Right, OK, so now I want to go down this lane here. So let's get to the top of there. Ah, right, I'm still on freehand. So let's undo, go back to follow roads this time. So I want to get to the top of this green lane here. I mean, look, it's just followed the alignment of the road. That's awesome. So now I want to go down this green lane here. Now, if we go to this here, you can see that it sort of stops there. So I bet if I click here, it's gone to the end of the lane, but no further. What happens if I click here? Right, it's got confused again and gone round. So undo, back to freehand, back to the satellite view, click, 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 back to the main road. OK, back to follow roads. So now I want to go down this lane here, and this is called back lane. 
I mean, this is just awesome. It's just following the alignment of the road, no problem. I'm not having to do a click, 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 click. So outside Hollitree's Cafe, I mean, it's just followed all along. I mean, that would have been a hell of a lot clicking for me. So now I want to go down this, this lane here. If I go to terrain map, is there anything there? I mean, there's the slightest, faintest of lines. So let's see what happens if I uh, go back here. So I want to go to here, down this lane. I mean, look at that. It snapped to, it's followed the alignment of the road. Brilliant. Right, so let's go through Kersey to the top of the hill in Kersey. Yeah, perfect. And now I want to go down this lane here, back down to down this unclassified road here. So where are we? So we are now, um, we've come down there. So I want to do this lane here, look. So we're at the top of the hill in Kersey. I want to go down there. Oh, I mean, this is just fantastic. Right, okay. So it's done it again. It's I got a bit confused, not a problem. Undo, freehand. And I'll just click, click, click those little bits. Goes down here, down here, down here. Down to the main road. Back to follow roads. I mean, you're getting the picture here, I'm sure. This is so easy to use. Let's go to Hadley High Street. And let's stop outside Huffers where we can go and have a bacon butty. Okay, so I've created my route. Next thing I do is I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it... Garmin test one, click tick to save that, save new course. Now if I had a Garmin exercise device and it was connected to my Mac, I could now just send it straight to it and then it's on the device. Brilliant, but it won't do this with a Garmin Zoom OXT. Um, what I've got to do is I've got to um, export it. So if I click here, I can download the GPX. So that's downloaded that and saved that to my computer. So I'm just going to quickly fire up my phone. So if I now go to my downloads file, there's the route I've just created. I can airdrop that to my phone. So one second, let me just get my phone ready. Um, come on, open up phone. Okay, so airdrop. sent that to my phone. So right, so my phone's received it and because it's a GPX file, it knows to open it in certain devices. So I'm going to open it in my uh, Garmin Drive app and it's telling me it's received this file. I'm going to send that uh, to my device and it says there at the bottom, next time I open the, the, the Zoom OXT, it will send the, the file to it. Brilliant. So job done. So I've created a route. And I've sent it to my device. What I can also do is I can import this device or send it to other things such as the OS map app. So I could just easily use that on my phone or if I want to look at it on here I can, so let's get rid of that, yes let's get rid of that, so let's go here, import GPX, choose the file. So that's one I've just created, upload Upload route, check route details. Okay, so there it is. It's now on my OS map desktop tool. I mean, brilliant. I, I'm just so chuffed that I suddenly had that moment where I thought, you idiot, just use Garmin Connect because it's going to make creating routes so, so, so much simpler. So... I hope you found that useful and interesting because I was at a loose end as to what to use for my uh, Garmin and um, and asking around. There weren't many tools that had that Snap2 feature and you can use this anywhere in the world. So it's not this is not just like a UK thing. Um, you know, you could use this and plan a route in France, Spain, wherever. I mean, if Garmin are there, then this is, tool is going to work there. Um, fantastic. That's going to save me so much time. Anyway, I hope you've found this, I hope you've found this useful. Um, leave a comment. Please leave a comment on what you use and what you've been doing and if you know an easier way because then we can all read the comments and have a look and try other things. But 
What I love about this is it's really, really simple to use. There's no faffing around. There's, there's no verifying any accounts. You're just straight in there creating bish bash bosh, dead easy to use. So leave a comment. Of course, I'd, lo I'd love it if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed the video to give, give the uh, channel a thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up, and maybe even give us a subscribe. Because you never know, you might come back in a couple of weeks' time and find another useful video that we've done just for you. So, bye for now, thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you out on the trail soon. Bye-bye.